Hey guys, and welcome back to Read for Need. Today, we're going to be reading Chapter 5 and 6 from A to Z Mysteries, The Orange Outlaw by Ron Roy. If you haven't checked out my last two videos, I read Chapter 1, 2, 3, and 4. Check out this link right above if you want to see those videos. But let's get started on Chapter 5 and 6 of The Orange Outlaw. When the kids stepped out of the elevator, Uncle Warren was waiting in the hallway. Thank you for leaving me a note, but it's past your bedtime, Donnie. Is the de detective still here? Dink asked. No, he left a few minutes ago, his uncle said. He checked for fingerprints and took samples of the orange peels and juice. They walked into the kitchen. The orange peels were gone, but the floor was, was still sticky. Patches of white fingerprint powder made blotches on the counter and kitchen table. The empty fruit bowl was in the sink. Do you know Miss Cornelius? asked Dink. Dink asked his uncle. Uncle Warren smiled. A lot of people know Corrine Cornelius, he said. She was a Broadway actress years ago. She lived in the apartment right below this one. We have tea together all the time. Why do you ask? Dink told his uncle what they'd learned from Roger. Miss Cornelius might have seen the thief on her balcony, he said. Maybe she can tell us what she what he looks like. Donnie, Miss Cornelius is quite old, his uncle said. And I'm afraid her eyesight is failing. Uncle Warren looked around his kitchen and sighed. I should clean up, but I'm exhausted. This mess will have to wait till morning, he said. Now off to bed, kiddos. We'll help you tomorrow, Ruth Rose said. Thank you, my dear. Sweet dreams, everyone, Uncle Warren said as he padded toward his bedroom. I don't know about you guys, but I couldn't sleep a wink right now. Me either, Dink said. The three headed for the living room, Ruth Rose sat next to Dink on the sofa, and Josh plopped down on the carpet. I've been thinking, Ruth Rose said, how many people knew your uncle had a valuable painting in his apartment? Roger might have known about it, Dink said. Josh sat up. Of course, he said. Roger's the crook. But he was at the door all night. That's what he told us, Ruth Rose said. He could have been lying. Does Roger have the key to this apartment? Guys, my uncle and Roger are friends, Dink protested. Plus, he's worked sorry. Plus, he's worked in the building for ages. Don't you watch TV, Josh asked, wiggling his eyebrows up and down. The butler, I mean the doorman, did it, Dink laughed. You're crazy. No way Roger snuck up here and stole that painting. Josh got up and walked into the kitchen. Dink heard the refi refrigerator open and close. Well, who else knew about it? Ruth Rose asked. How about Miss Booker? Josh said when he came came back. He was carrying a handful of grapes. She told us she used to swing on a trapeze. Maybe she climbs buildings now. Plus, she knew we were all out of the apartment during the block party. Ruth Rose nodded. Ruth Rose nodded. She's the building manager, so I'll bet she has all the keys to all the apartments. She wouldn't have to climb the building. But how would she know my uncle even had the painting? Remember, your uncle said one of Miss Booker's jobs is t delivering brought the packages? Ruth Rose said, maybe she brought the painting up to your uncle. He might have told her what was inside the wrapping. And she told... She might have told Roger, Josh said. Heck, maybe they did it together. Roger could have been the lookout while she was up here stealing the painting and tossing orange peel all over the place, Ding said. Wouldn't that be kind of dumb? Maybe she did that on purpose. Leaving orange peels on the balcony would make it look like the crook climbed down the building. Yeah, Josh said. 
and that would make us think that it was someone who didn't have keys. Okay, but what about the juice all over the kitchen? Dink asked. Why would Miss Booker do that? Easy, Josh said. She wanted to confuse the cops. Dink yawned, then stood up and stretched. Well, whoever it was did a good job confusing me. He walked up out to the balcony and looked up at the stars. High in the sky, he made out the blinking lights on an airplane. He wondered what, where the airplane was coming from. Josh and Ruth Rose came and stood next to him. I thought of someone else who might have known about the painting. Who? Miss Cornelius. She answered. Dink stared at her. But she's old and can't see well, he said. My uncle told us that a little while ago. He also told that us she used to be an actress. Besides, Josh added, you don't need perfect eyesight to steal a painting, but if Miss Cornelius is the crook, why would she tell Roger she saw someone on her balcony? Maybe she did it to keep anyone from suspecting her, Ruth Rose said. Think thought for a moment. Okay, but how would she get into my uncle's apartment? Or are you going to tell me she swung up on a vine like Tarzan? Josh laughed. I don't know. Maybe she stole a spare key when she, were, she was having tea, he said. But I say we have a talk with, more, with Miss Cornelius in the morning. Chapter 6. Josh, wake up. Dink shook Josh's shoulder, then yanked the covers off him. Come on, help me clean the kitchen before my uncle gets up. Josh mumbled something and pulled the covers back over himself. He might as breakfast, Dink said. Dink, Josh shot out of the bed, tripping over his sneakers as he charged into the kitchen. Ruth Rose was already there, washing the fruit bowl. I don't see any food, Josh grumbled. No, but you will... After we get this mess cleaned up, Dink told him, blueberry pancakes are my uncle's speciality. Josh dropped into a chair. I've been lied to, he mumbled. Come on, Josh, Dink said. If, we're, if we work together, we can have this done in ten minutes. I'll wash the floor, Ruth Rose said, dragging a mop from the closet. Dink handed Josh a damp sponge. While you were sitting there, wiped chairs and tabletop. I thought we were going to talk to Miss Cornelius this morning, Josh said, giving the table a fast swipe. We are, Dink opened his uncle's address book. I'm calling her right now. When Dink had Miss Cornelius on the line, he introduced himself and asked if they could visit her for a few minutes. He thanked her and hung up. We can go down as soon as we're done cleaning up, he said. Let's get to work. Dink turned on the radio low. They cleaned to country song. Hey, look what I found, Josh uh, said. He held up a long orange hair. It was caught on the back of this chair. Dink and Ruth Rose walked over and studied the hair. Looks like one of yours, Josh, Ruth Rose said. It is not, Josh said. My hair is red, not this orange color, and mine's a lot cleaner. Ruth Rose took the hair and held it up to the light. Miss Booker has orange hair, she said. We can check out her out later, Dink said. He folded the chair hair inside the, a paper towel and stuck it in his pocket. Let's finish up and go see Miss Cornelius. Ten minutes later, the kids quietly left the apartment. They found the stairs and walked down one floor. Dink knocked on Miss Con Miss Cornelius's door. It was opened by a woman who had white hair and was wearing a fuzzy robe. Behind thick eyeglasses, her pale blue eyes looked huge. Good morning, Miss Cornelius chirped. I see, I'm not the only one who likes to get up with the birds. Come in, come in. Using a cane, she led them into a cheerful living room. Please sit on the sofa where I can see you, she said. The, the kids lined up on the sofa. Miss Cornelia sat up opposite them. She leaned close and studied their faces. Now tell me why 
three children have come to visit an old lady like me. Dink told Miss Cornelius about the stolen painting. Goodness, she said. I always miss the excitement. When did it happen, dear? Last night, during the block party, Ruth Rose said. Miss Cornelius clapped her hands. That prowler I saw on my balcony must have been the thief. She said, I'm a witness. Um, we were wondering if you could tell us what happened. Using her cane for support, Miss Cornelia stood up. Come with me. She walked to her balcony. Pull those drapes, dear, she said to Josh. When, sorry. When the drapes were opened, the kids looked out onto the balcony. It was just like Uncle Warren's, except that several bird feeders were attached to the balcony wriggling. I love to feed the birds, but I have trouble seeing them, Miss Cornelius said. That's why I bought this. She pointed to a round magnifying glass about the size of a pie plate. It was stuck to the inside of the balcony's glass door. Dink looked clear curiously through the magnifying glass. Wow, everything looks bigger, he said. Isn't it fun, Miss Cornelius said. I heard a noise last night, so I walked over and peeked through the drapes. Someone was all on the balcony. What did he look like? Dink asked. I thought you'd never ask, Miss Cornelius said. She took a pad out of the pocket of her robe and handed it to Dink. Written in large spidery letters. A baggy coat, very poor posture, wrinkled face. Dink gulped when he read the last two words, orange hair. We've already read chapter 5 and 6, so I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you for listening. In this video, I read chapter 5 and 6 of A to Z Mysteries, The Orange Outlaw by Ron Roy. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did end up enjoying today's video, then please make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell down below so that whenever I upload a video, you will get notified on YouTube. If you're already subscribed, then also please make sure to hit the like button down below as well.